Hello everyone, my name is Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. How are you all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. If not, well, I hope this stream helps cheer you up a little bit. Today is Tuesday, September 3rd of 2024. And I couldn't decide the game tonight, so I decided to put into a... Decided to ask around. Dad said Star Trek Online. Couldn't get a response from my friend since he... What, since he's a little bit busy right now, so I just I also decided to put it through through a through a selector. And I also got Star Trek Online, so go with Star Trek Online tonight. <laughs> now where we la last left off, we got done with the Iconian War. We're about to go into the new arc called Yesterday's War. Base in in a nutshell is base, what it says on the tin says join the fight against rogue time travelers in a struggle to protect and preserve the galactic timeline. So let's get started, shall we? First, I have to make sure the game is gonna pop up on here. There we go. All good. Oh, just as a side as a side thing, I. I should tell you about I got everything up up here to tier six for reputation stuff. Which means I also got something special right here. Fleet ship module. It's bound to character, so that means I could buy myself another ship, but why do that right now when I got this? And also I because I did a whole bunch of stuff, I got, was able to get the Advanced Inhibiting Phaser Omni Directional Beam Array Mark 13. Because I was originally going to go... One second, I'll show you. It would be under, I think, New Frontiers. It would be this mission, and we got ourselves a ways to go. So I decided to go for that. Since I had the stuff for it. Let me get the music going, and then we'll begin Temporal Ambassador. Oh. I also need to get rid of... Progress, get rid of that. Drop you, since I only use you as a quick way to get back to Deep Space Nine. And now to get the music going... Let's continue on with this... Continue on with the, I think it was the 80s hard rock. Ah, oh, nice. Also, while I'm at it, I need to clean up my inventory here. Should have done that before. Ah. Uh. Come on. I am not deleting those. I need I need to change the protected status to on. There. Now we can begin. I've been busy. Oh, I've been busy today, just so you know. Oh, I went to the store. Joined. There's a did my did my thing with the with the Pathfinder group I found online, and also had to go back to the store again. But yeah, it's been a busy day. Okay, Starfleet. Or say, Starfleet Command reports that a space-time anomaly has been in the, seen in this area of space with the Tholian activity in this region. He wants us to check it out and see what we can learn. I have an ancestor, sir. Locking coordinates now. I remember playing this one when it first came out. 
Okay, that, that was odd. I'm no longer detecting anything in front of us, but I'm picking up a similar or possibly same anomaly at a new location. I've updated the coordinates on the map. Yeah, when I played... When I went through this was when they first released it, when and the ship at the time was a... If I remember correctly, was the, the ship at the time it was the ambassador class, both the rich, both a commander grade version and a um, vice, was a, a rear admiral version, aka a tier five. That was the max level at that point in time. Okay, the key. There we go. Scan that anomaly. Hey, look! My wait, wait, what? My ship changed. <laughs> Raider Scarlet requesting your permission to dock at Tholian Base. Oh, great! Some something's really changed. <laughs> I'm back with the Tekasite sh shipment. Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomique soup. It almost tastes like something. Thanks. Do you need anything else? Nope. Uh, just another day ship... Just bring our stuff to the Tholians. You look... You look familiar. Uh, so do you. Have you been in any other camps of this sector? No, not... Let's see... Hello. Wrong... Trying to see who else I might recognize here. If you know, you know what I'm doing is I'm trying to look for my bridge crew. Okay. Oh, I recognize him. You're right in here. Tell me about yourself. Why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Okay then. Go away. Let's see, there's Morn. Ah, Tarsi. Let's see what she has to say. You look familiar. Yeah, I've seen you around. Weren't you the one caught cheating at, in that tango game on Drozana? Heard that Freggy had his nausea buddies break your arms. How long were you out of action? I am not liking this timeline one bit. Okay. I don't see any. I uh, might as well get some food. Humanoid Dietary Supplement 47. Oh, what the hell so happened to my fingers? Before, Captain. Got a minute to talk? I'm new here. I know. I asked around about you. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly. 
moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. What are you talking about? Who is us? Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through. And because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. And the Federation was losing. Badly. We tried to go back to set things right. But then the Klingons found us and the Enterprise D. And there's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. Okay, lead on. Trying to figure out how to walk. <laughs> We need your help. Okay, what's going on here? I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. When the Enterprise C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline. One in which I was alive, but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things Right. Okay, continue. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again and... <sighs> you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here, and as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Well, count me in. What do you need me to do? Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. I'd go myself, but we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. Okay. That's the idea, at least. Okay. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there... It's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Okay, I'll do it. What's next? Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier. Okay, thanks. This place isn't what it's supposed to be. Uh, can you tell me about what is supposed to happen? I can't see it clearly. I just know that something is wrong. That woman over there, does she have a daughter? Someone named Sila. I know that's important. Uh, but there are a lot of other things. Uh, I'm sorry, it's difficult to put into words. What I can tell you is that if someone asks for your help, give it. That will set things right. Okay. Something's not... Let's go to Franklin Drake.
do you have a question? Yarn Casillo, Casillo said that you have a key for me? Take it. Here's a map, too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but... There's something about Yar and Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference. It makes me want to believe. Thank you. I'll take the risks now. Do you need anything else? Nope. Thank you. I know who I want to ask for help. Let's ask Obasek here. I will be free. Can you can I get you to create a diversion for us? We need to reach the react reach the control room. Your plan is foolhardy. If you want to die, do it without my assistance. Sorry to have bothered you. Okay, let's try Sean here. How can I assist you? Can I get you to create a diversion for us? We need to reach the control room. I don't remember the Federation. Or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the only life I know. One of servitude. Deprivation. Loss. I want something better. That freedom my parents and grandparents told me about. I want the Federation back. I'll help. Just tell me what you need. Thanks. This food isn't fit for dogs! Security codes, and let's. Is there, nope. Let's get into the maintenance tunnels here. Okay. Well done. Those maintenance tunnels are a maze. They make navigating the Jeffries tubes on the Enterprise look easy. I recommend using the map to keep track of where you've been, what doors lead away from which room, and where you are currently. Okay then. I'm gonna explore the entire place here. We've hit a snag. There are Tholians in the control room. When they're in there, they pump in a Tholian-friendly atmosphere and raise the temperature. It will kill us if we try to enter. You'll need to replace the methane-based atmosphere with something we can breathe and lower the ambient temperature in the control room before we can continue as planned. Okay, why would the Tholian put a system in place that could create a hostile environment for them? The Tholians are very precise. They want to learn everything they can about the ships they're capturing. All rooms connected to the hangars have their atmospheres exchanged to prevent damage to the systems they're dismantling for study. Also, sometimes they force humanoids to do the work for them. So they'll pump in something we can handle. Makes sense. He's dead, Jim. Who's Jim? Oh, dead Jim. <laughs> okay, next. Something, something for his loot. Okay, close the methane gas vents. Nice. Oh, vent control room atmosphere. And create oxygen based atmosphere.
and lower the ambient temperature. And there goes those Tholians. Yeah, let's continue on here. Ooh, let's consult the wisest Tribble. Elder Tribble, please share your wisdom. The Tribble coos for a moment and then rolls gently towards, towards you looking for food. You realize you're talking to a Tribble. Maybe you've been in these Axis tunnels for too long. Or maybe it's the gas fumes. I think it's the gas fumes. <laughs> and... There we go. All major systems are still operational. Good. Okay. We don't have much time. What's your specialty? I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also fairly confident that with enough time, I can release the docking clamps holding the ship, or take down the Tholian's web shielding. Okay, you take we don't care of the have tractor much time. beam. I am here to assist. What's what your specialty? You My first posting in Starfleet was to an ambassador class vessel. I am familiar with my nope. systems, but I spent several months working on a refit of the ship's computer. I am confident I can restore the ship's power levels quickly. Also, I do have some experience with Tholian technology from my time in the Resistance. Overriding security if protocols. If you prefer, I could attempt to deactivate the web shield or tractor beams. Okay, you take you get the ship's power exist. levels back on. What? We need to work together. You take care of the docking clamps. I'm gonna take care of the webbing. I'm changing the targeting subroutines for the tractor beams. Energy matrix. And now deactivating it. The webbing, that is. There. Tractor beam is disabled. Just so I can have some frames. Head to the ship. Oh, they put force fields up between. I thought you deactivated all the security protocols. Oh, I did. This is something else, it seems. Do you want me to do that for you? I know a few things about force fields. I got it. Having trouble? You do know that we could have Tholians swarming us any minute, right? I'm doing this as fast as I can. I thought we took care of everything. Starfleet Protocol 547C clearly states that 
I don't think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. If they have, they would have made a counter to it. Now let's get on board and get the heck out of Dodge. There we go, in all her glory, the Enterprise C. Before we could. Okay, everything is all set. Let's get it out of Dodge here. Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. Power to weapon systems and let's just. Let's go. Orb weavers on an intercept. Tholian recluse is moving into weapons range. I recommend you base it out. No kidding. Ah, that's not good. Raise for impact and. Check some more plasma. Tholian Tarantula on center. Well, this is good. Some your weavers. the tarantula. A ship just appeared out of nowhere and destroyed that Tholian tarantula. I've never seen a ship of that configuration. A one with that kind of firepower. We took a hit. Phases are partially offline. We'll need to work together to take out this last ship. Looks like you could use some help. There we go. The way is clear. And the temporal anomaly has been stabilized. Head for the anomaly, Enterprise. It will put you back where you need to be. Who are you? How do you know where we need to be? That's my job. The details aren't important. Restoring the timeline is. Get moving. The Tholians are already starting to regroup. Thanks for your help. Setting a course now. Okay, let's get fi time fixed. Wait, what? Where am I? What am I doing here? I'm sure you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise C and compromise that timeline as well. What are you going to do with me then? We'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. So, how do I get back? As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. What the? <laughs> oh, my head. Okay, let's scare for that anomaly. That's strange, sir. I thought I had some on sensors, but it's gone. Everything is quiet. No Tholians or other ships within range, and the anomaly Starfleet Command wanted us to investigate isn't here either. You can depart the system on your order, sir. Okay, let's get out of here. There wasn't anything there. That's strange. 
Congratulations on restoring the timeline and ensuring the Enterprise C maintain its proper place in history. You'll receive an ambassador class class ship of your own. Nice. And along We've with detected significant temporal activity in the Galorndon core system, circa the 23rd century. I'm going to investigate it, and I'd like you to join me. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer. A doomsday machine. If so, we need to stop them at all costs. I'll provide your ship with holographic camouflage. It's best if the Romulans of that time don't see a vessel from the future. Okay, then. Thank you. Anyway, hi, how you doing, Daniels? Hope you're all hope you're doing well. You look fine. Stay safe out there. Okay, to Glorn Decor. I'll transwarp there. Okay, let's begin the the core of the matter. Ah, there's the time portal, and in we go. He looked like a uh, Romulan Talis. My dad actually has a miniature model of it. Like about... Mm, I think the size. Basically like the... If you were to look at it... It's basically like the diameter of a soda, a soda can. Okay, we've arrived, Admiral. The holographic camouflage that Daniels provided is online. Has... As far as the Romulans of this time are concerned, we're in a Talis class warbird. Excellent work, Daniels. Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. There's a comms satellite nearby that you can use to accomplish this. Understood. Okay, go to the satellite. Now, if only this had a cloak. Okay, data transmission complete. Our Tal Shark credentials are in their system and should, with, with, should withstand scrutiny. I expect a fair amount of fear and loathing from their staff, Admiral. Unannounced visits from the Tal Shiar aren't a, exactly a cause for celebration. Let's hope the Tal Shiar's reputation keeps us above suspicion. the doomsday machine, but it's active. Recommend a close scan. Oh, I wish I had my Harping torpedo. Just say tor torpedoes. Tall Shiar vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. Watch your tone, Nakul. We will respect your wishes. For now. IRW Morari, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credentials. Acknowledge Station Command, transmitting now. Data received, Morari. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the Director will want to greet you personally. Very well, I'm looking forward to it. Or Morari out. Okay, landing coordinates received. Transporters are standing by. Let us not keep them waiting. Beam us down. <laughs> All Lita has to do is just simply readjust her. She readjusts how her, how she looks. 
Yeah, that's just a simple thing. I think we're gonna have to wear holographic disguises, though. The rest of the away team. One second, I'll be right back. machines seek and destroy planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit just sitting there, peacefully. It looks like reports of the Nakul gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how. I'm back, fast. everyone. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. Okay, keep me posted if anything changes, Daniels. We'll be able to put the planet between the Scarlet and the Dooms. We'll put the planet between Scarlet and the Doomsday Machine, just in case. Stay on guard. Let me know if that thing even twitches a little. This area is restricted. You need to leave now. I am sub -com I am a sub commander of the Tal Shiar. Step aside. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. No one, not even Chulak himself. I'll be sure to mention this to your superiors, guard. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted, sir. Better be sure it's now wise to refuse to tell Shiar, sh tell Shiar, sh son. Y yes, Subcommander, at once. Uh, forgive my rudeness. Uh, access granted. Let me get the door for you. Thank you. Your service to the Empire has been noticed, Centurion. Can investigate the sensor readings. There we go, back here. Sensors indicate that an encoded signal of Nakul origins beamed to the Doomsday Machine. It's coming from the chamber where the um, the chamber the Nakul were guarding so intently. According to these logs, whenever the Doomsday Machine attempts to engage its primary directives, a signal pulse is beamed to its command core and the machine stops. It appears we're one step closer to learning how they're controlling a doomsday machine. Subcommander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Do you agree with that command, Centurion? Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar, and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted. Dutiful service to the Empire is always rewarded. Carry on. Okay, let's check what's on the logs here. Okay, access the first log. The Senate has dispatched an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature, but she's of a keen mind and cunning I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so... hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song, to be sure, but she sings it sweetly. Okay, that's the first one. Next. Krog's mysterious backer, the so-called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars, truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. Okay, third log. 
My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. If accurate, this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice-damped captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. Okay. Fourth one. Krog arrives tomorrow, along with her reportedly improved weapon. I believe the envoy will be making an appearance as well. It seems it's the season for guests. If my agents are to be believed, we'll be getting a visit from the Tal Shiar very soon. I'm already suffering the witless bureaucrat from the Senate. To endure the serpents of the secret police is nearly too much to ask of a true Romulan. Okay. Let's download the logs and get out of here. To the conference room. Okay, which way? This way? No. I must say, they did... They, when I played through this, I, I've i noted they did take the... They got the correct, correct aesthetic from the original series. Oh, right down here. Speak to Commander Chulak here. Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus or and do you face annihilation. And do you trust the Nakul commander? No. Trust is a hard earned currency. However, I respect their weapon. Good... good choice. Greetings, Sub-Commander. I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. I hope so, Specialist. For your sake. Have a care, friend. We don't take kindly to threats. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You, you have, have nothing, nothing to, to fear, fear from, from the machine, machine my, my friend. friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly so, Commander. Soon the Doomsday oh, Machine will bring what their foes to, you? to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. You look like a rotten avocado. We see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration that got, is in order. God hit with see a Picasso. As you wish. Shall we? Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. They are using holographic disguises. Guards, deal with them. I don't suppose we could talk about this. <laughs> well, time to fight our way out. When I get can refine more stuff, I'll buy 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 the phaser version of this pulse wave.
Oh, crud. Bunched up like that. Let's force the door open on this. Yeah, this is definitely out of place. Let's lock the console processes on this. Okay, DP it. Oh shit. Get out of here, take a number. Here's Jay, get out of here and take a number. I don't want all of you at once. Let's disengage the EBS power couplings. Hold on, got a bunch of stuff that got on my phone here. And let's beam up the control equipment. When I say take a number, I mean take a number. Okay. The not cool coast is safely on board. We're ready to beam me out of there now. Energize, I don't want any more interruptions here. Okay, let's should mute this for now, but let's see what Dad said me anyway. Okay, I'm on the wrong thing. It's Instagram. He likes, again, Dad likes sending me a whole bunch of food stuff and all that. There was any random stuff. Food, food, food. Oh, Monty Python's the Lumberjack song. We're trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. Oh, unfortunately, Daniels, you got two. There's an entire fleet out there and a live doomsday machine. Your uninvited guests will make a fine target for the weapon, Chulak. <laughs> Distortions. Thank you, Time Crystals. The Doomsday Machine is about to open fire. Oh, shit. Oh, 
hold on. I instantly got blown up. <sighs> did not. I did not dodge in time. I was paying more attention to the console stuff. Activate the transmitter. Five kilometers of the new data sheet to transmit the control codes. There we go. We got it. Activating shutdown protocol. Now. Something is wrong. It's not working. Oh shit. Firing indiscriminately. Got indigestion. It's on a collision course. No, no. Ooh. That's not good at all. As you wish, Commander. Daniels would like to meet you. Uh, meet would like you to meet him on his ship once we transition back to the 25th century. Let him know, know I'll be there shortly. Then our cool ship must have detonated within the Doomsday Machine, disrupted it somehow. This must feel like a pyrrhic victory at best. Too. <laughs> Oh, Daniels, your face! What happened? An, uh, occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll be fine. What matters is that Chulak and his allies would have killed billions had their plan succeeded. Instead, his life is a cautionary tale, forever disgraced by his loss here today. Okay, next one, after this. We stopped them this time, at great cost. Clearly, the Nakul and their leader, this envoy, are willing to do anything to win this war, even commit genocide. It's unfortunate that Chulak didn't stand up to the Nakul sooner. It might have prevented this tragedy today. Mm hmm? I'm gonna take a disruptor pistol. Yeah, I'm gonna take a disruptor pistol. I'm thinking that one. There's been a temporal disturbance in the 27th century. It's happening in the Lurs system. Vorgon mercenaries are targeting a scientist named Caldano. This is big. 
we must keep Dano and his research out of Vorgon hands. I've transmitted the temporal coordinates. Meet me there. Okay. Do you have any questions? Nope. Let's transwarp there. Just that way we're not just sprinting along. S sprinting along with warp. Okay. Are the Vorgons working with the Envoy? We're not sure. There's some data indicating a connection to a Black Ops unit in the Vorgon Defense Force. Other info suggests that they're independents, working for the highest bidder. Regardless, we need to stop them, no matter who's pulling their strings. Do you have any questions? Yeah, why do the Vorgons want the Toxutat? We believe the Vorgons wish to sell it. The power to kill a star is incredibly valuable in certain circles. Do you have any questions? Nope, let's start this. Lure system, 27th Object century. Complete. Permission to come aboard? Granted, Daniels. Okay, Daniels says Dr. Shelby 1. Sensors indicate that Lurus Prime is now a colonized planet in a transitional state between classes L and M. Acknowledged as Mr. Daniels to join us on the bridge, Tarsi. Caldano is stationed here at a Daystrom Institute research facility. The Vorgans may already have what they came for. Bring us into scanning range. We need to find out. Why is Caldano significant? He's a brilliant scientist who recently completed work on a quantum phase inhibitor known as the Tox-Utat. While it was designed for peaceful purposes, the Tox-Utat could be a powerful weapon in the wrong hands. Hands like those of the Vorgons. Let us hope we're in time to help. Helm, bring us in range. When your scans are cleared, no signs of Caldano or the Toxotot on the Vorgan's ship. Looks like they're at yellow alert status. They're ready for trouble, Admiral. Some Vorgons may be on the plan pursuing Caldano. Let me know if, let me know if anything changes. It's highly likely the Vorgons are at Caldano's research facility trying to get what they want. I'll take point on this one. I need you to keep an eye on that Vorgon ship and its crew. They might send reinforcements or open fire from orbit. Right. Bring us into transfer range, Helm. Let's beam Daniels down. The Vorgons are bringing their combat systems online. No response to hails. They're targeting us. Red alert to all hands to battle stations. The Vorgons have cornered Caldano. Engaging them now. 